Hey folks, I wanted to show you my University of Georgia ring from Belfort in case you were thinking about getting one. So you can see it in person here. And um, all right, I really like it. It's, it's, it's uh, heavy. I bought mine for delivered about 675 bucks back in 2012. I graduated in 92, and I always wanted to get one. This is the um, white gold version. Now, I just saw that they're going for about, this particular ring is going for 825 I think, something like that, 800 and, so, um, okay. And I really enjoy uh, wearing it. I wear it for special occasions. And, okay, let's take a look at it. And the quality is really there. And I wanted to get a, one that wasn't as good a quality and maybe just save some money. But uh, quite frankly, I think I had a little trouble finding replicas and cheaper ones just to bum around with. My friend, um, oddly enough, I went to college with, we, we both are from the same high school, and um, he went there on a tennis scholarship, and uh, he has not a school ring, but he's got these NCAA championship rings, because I believe two of the three years, or three of the four years he was there, he played on the tennis team, and they won the NCAA at least once or twice, and then he would get all these, so he had, anyways, long story short, he had four big fancy gold um, college rings that were the championship of you know NCAA and he has I think two I think two years they won so anyways he wears one for just bumming around and then the other he has in a storage at home and I thought that was a nice luxury to have it reminds me of a guy I met once sitting actually down in Georgia at a bar and he had a NCAA ring and he played for Florida State football and I asked him about his ring, and he had nine rings. Because every year they won, they won the, AAC, the um, AAC, I believe, championship, and then they he went to one bowl, and he got, so all these bowl rings. He had nine different rings. Anyways, enough about that. So I love to have these big fat rings like this. So let's take a look around. Um, here it is. You can see there's my major there, Bachelor of Fine Arts. And I got ended up getting a job at first up in, uh, in advertising and things like that. And um, they had a pretty big art program there. It really helped me out. You can see the seal here, the Georgia seal. All right, cool beans. Looks like the, um, I'm not sure what building that would be. Is that the library? All right. Now, let's look underneath in case you're curious. It's just kind of traditional. And the other, this is my favorite part here. I'll just stand it up. Sorry for my big thumbs in the way. Um, Uga hanging out right here. And he's got the little G on his shirt. And um, he's a little sharp. He's a little rough. I kind of sanded him just down a little in the, in the snout. Because he would scrape on my finger a little bit. Nothing to really write home about. But I would imagine if you're using it every day, it would either wear out or you'd want to get that fixed. And I wouldn't even use the word fixed. I just sanded it down just a bit. Cool beans. Now, okay, we'll look at the top. Once again, well, I'll just show you like here. All right, 1785 down there. Now, on the inside, hello. We've got, um, it says professional videos right here, huh? It says wisdom, justice, moderation. And then on the lower band here is my name etched in. It's hard to see. And uh, those are the three pillars of, uh, of the, of the, um, of this Georgia arch there, which I don't think is unique to G University of Georgia. I think it's a Georgia, state of Georgia, the three pillars there. 
And um, you can get this in gold, which is more expensive. I don't like gold jewelry. I just wear silver all the time, and I prefer that. I saw an older version of this, um, and it had a little bulldog in the center. But that was the guy was probably in his 60s who was wearing it. Cool. Wisdom, justice, moderation. I thought moderation kind of seems a little bit, um, that's a nice word to use, especially in America where we have a little bit of trouble in, with moderation. And um, you'd never guess the, the, the third word was moderation, you know. Wisdom, justice, yeah. Moderation seems a little bit um, esoteric. Uh, you know, it could have been anything. could have been um, wisdom, justice, nutrition, you know, I mean. Just, uh, but I like that. I like that it's under there like that. All right, let's get back to the, um, let's go back here and we'll just get to the, oops, sorry. Hey, here we go. Um, let's get back to the bulldog here because he's the, the best part of this. And um, thanks for struggling through my awesome professional video there. Let's see if we can get him in there a little bit better. Great ring, um, fits me well. I don't know what size I am anymore, but I, my hand did get, as I get older, my hands get a little bigger, so. Gloves, um, now, don't fit as well. They're a little small. So on eBay, for like 10, 15 bucks, there's a, a tool. It's a ring sizer. It looks like a spike, a sophisticated spike, and you just, it's a big metal piece, and you just stick it down here, and it gets, as as deep as you go and it and then you pound on it a little bit with a hammer a light hammer and it'll stretch it you know maybe two percent one percent just enough to kind of make it fit a little better cool beans well all right I hope you like it so when you wear it remember if you're um, if you graduated you wear the arches the dome of the arch faces away from you I believe and if you're undergrad, if you haven't graduated yet, the dome faces towards you. So um, I believe, oh boy, don't quote me on that. But the, the way the archers face is a, um, maybe you could put in the comments, is important. So comes with this handsome carrying cage too. All right. Good stuff. Uh, you know, pass it down to your kids and whatnot. So, all right. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.